Hello, my name is Adrian Villarreal or Adrian Villarreal. Um, this year, I'm deciding that I need to document, I need to talk, I need to give my words, my inspiration, my vision, my my goal. Um, so, so who am I? Um, that that's a good question. Who am I? Um, well, my name's Adrian Villarreal. Uh, Villarreal. Uh, I I worked in uh, I I I worked in a whole bunch of jobs. I've done a whole bunch of types of jobs. I've done almost anything that you can name. I've done it. Um, from tree cutting to to um, restaurant jobs to to um, uh, I've done a, I've done a whole bunch of jobs. I've done a whole bunch of things. Um, I've 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 always been in the state of Texas. I never left the state of Texas. Uh, state of Texas, you know, it's it's uh, how's it to work in Texas? It's 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 uh, <laughs> working in the state of Texas is 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 different. Um, I, I can only say that because I, I haven't really been out of state. I haven't been anywhere else other than Texas. You know, all I know is Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas is my life. You know, I, I, I live south, south Texas, south of the border, where the border's at. Not at the border. I mean, well, yeah, at the border, but <laughs> uh, not, a, not past the border. I, I've always lived here in Texas. I think I've only went to Mexico maybe to get some medication or something or anything you know it's very cheap it, it, it helps um so what's it like working in Texas it's 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 different you know I've had my experiences you know I, I me I'm like a grown tree I'm like a tree it's grown it's it's big I'm grown you know so um I've done almost every single type of restaurant job that you could think of, uh, in and out. I know how to work it from the floors to the registers. I can do any of that stuff. Um, um, I've worked at the airport before, McAllen Airport. It's it's a, it's an airport where I live in South Texas. Uh, I worked with bagging and loading and and working with with people that work at the airport. I had to go through. All their types of procedures. Um, I've also went to school. Um, I, I can't really give you the, the exact dates, you know. I've, I've been all over the place, uh, experiencing a whole bunch of different things, you know. Um, uh, I, I worked at. Um, I, I've done um, a lot of um, a lot of work. <laughs> I've done a lot of work, uh, working in just a whole bunch of places, you know, and I've never really stayed with those jobs. I've always moved on to something else, moved on to something different. Um, so yeah, I want to say back in maybe 2016, 2015, that's when I was working on my diploma because I had dropped out of high school. Uh, I was supposed to graduate in 2015, but I, I dropped out due to personal reasons, you know, a lot of things were going on. And I, it just didn't work out. I had to drop out. So that was that. And um, I was just on this layaway, just hanging out, just, you know, just just hanging out until I found out about a school called Job Corps. And then I went to Job Corps around 2015. And that's when I was heavily influenced. I, I, I learned a lot. Uh, it was it's a diverse community um a lot of different people you know the community that i come from where i'm from it, it, it's close it's close knit it, it, it's it's a lot of hispanic mexican latino heritage culture where i come from there's not a lot of diversity where i come from and if there is it's rare so i was always that percent that really wasn't close knit because I stuck to myself. I stayed home. 
um i i just didn't really associate myself with anyone very much so i was always kind of like an outsider kind of but there's nothing wrong with that I, i'm perfectly fine with it um but the times that i do go out it, it, it's 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 uh it's always i always like to keep it to a point to where it's 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 new all the time it's not something that i'm always used to place that i live at i don't like to to make it any place that I live in Texas, I don't like to make it comfortable. I don't like to be comfortable wherever I'm at. I don't like to make any place comfortable. So for me, I would say that I have like a, a home issue maybe. I, I, I still am looking for a place to call home. So I that's my journey and that's my plan. You know, I, I, I plan to, I, I'm going to touch up on my plan and, and, and where I'm going to go, but all I can say about that is that that, that um I I would say that it's a home issue. I I I'm focusing on really looking for a home for myself, where I could live and work daily, and and just live and and you know I get to a point to where I can say, hey man, like this is home. So um yeah, I went to Job Corps, and it, it was a wonderful, crazy wild experience you know I, I met a whole bunch of different cultures different people different different backgrounds different goals different missions different lives different paths um i went for welding and i i i was kind of just jumping into the work work workforce workplace uh area because i like i said as soon as i dropped out of high school i was just kind of just i didn't know what to do with my life so this place that offered me a chance to get my high school diploma, uh, gather one or two trades of my liking. There's many trades there from HVAC to welding to security to medical to a whole bunch of things. So I just picked welding out of the blue and that's what I went with. I stuck with that. So... I went through the welding. I learned. I learned uh, from a fantastic teacher. His name was Mr. Humble. Um, I don't know if he'll see this one day. I don't know, but he was a good teacher. I was kind of just lost, you know, just a young kid, just doesn't really know what he's doing with his life. And uh, I, I can't really say what the age I was. I think I was maybe like, like twenty, maybe twenty. I'm not sure. But um, I that 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 that's the thing with me. I just I really don't focus too much like on important things like that, and that that's a problem. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, so I, I was in welding there, and I did a I did the welding program. I completed it. I went through the class. I had technical. I had training. I was hands on. I was working on welding. Um, I did um. I did it. I completed it. I went through several welding tests, several welds. There's three welding machines, TIG, MIG, and STIC. I completed STIC, did all all the welds in STIC. Um, I I can weld, I can build barbecue, I can build barbecue pits, benches, tables, you name it. I can build it as long as I got the 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 right um, the right uh, I guess measurements and the equipment. I'll be able to do it. So I got I know how to gouge weld. Funny little thing is when I was recording recording on my phone welding, I was using a gouge machine, gouging up the welds, trying to erase them. It's like an eraser. Once you make a weld, you can use a gouge machine so you can erase it. So I was doing that and sparks were flying everywhere and it hit my phone. And it was kind of funny, but it's like at the same time it's a really good experience. I could talk all day about gay job course. That's that's the job course that I went to. Um, it, it was fantastic. It was amazing. Um, it it really opened my mind to the world. You know, different people from different countries, different areas, different places, all coming together. It's like it's like a college, and you're sleeping with these people and waking up and going to breakfast with them, dinner. You know, so I lived at this place for about two years. Um, I com I completed my high school. 
diploma. I got that. I got my diploma. Uh, thank God. Uh, it was hard work. I'm not even going to lie. I cried a little bit uh, during doing that because I was like, man, I can't do this. And, and I had the whole book right there. You know, it, it was a program on the computer. I completed it. I did it. Um, I, I, it was, it was, it was tough, but at that age I was different. I was young and it was hard for me, I guess, but, um, I got my diploma. So I was supposed to graduate in 2015, get my diploma and I got it in 2016. And then I completed the welding program. I got about three to four certifica certifications for that. I got my Texas Welders card, Texas Welding Association. Um, I think it's right here. I got a... <clears throat> so while I was over there, I took a medical class, which required me to take a food handler's card, which is this right here. It's a food handler's card certificate. I have that. This is me and my welding when I was over there. I was much more different, much more younger. This is my Texas welding card. Um, <laughs> I was just, it was crazy, it's different. That was in 2017, 523, 2017. I also got my OSHA card at this school, uh, 10 hour OSHA card class. I had to sit there. That teacher was fantastic as well. You're just a fantastic teacher. Uh, tremendous. <laughs> is a good teacher. He was, it was real fun. We learned a lot about safety, regulations, and all that. It was, it was beautiful. Um, so, yeah. And then I went through... After that, I completed that trade. I wanted more. I was happy to want more. Like I, I didn't want to go home. I just loved the environment. All the people, different people... Uh, the school, you know, waking up. It, I just love living around all these different people. And this is like a different world, different community. It's like its own tight, tight knit community of all different types of people. You know, I, I wasn't used to that. You know, from where I'm from, it's very different. Like I said, it, it, it's different. Where I'm from is different culture. It, it's a lot of different. It's different. So I like to stay over there. And, uh, I asked if I can go on to a second trade, and they said, yeah, we did the process and everything. And uh, that's what I went on to go doing. So, that's when I started the security. No, well, it was actually a correctional officer. It was correct, correctional CO, correctional officer training. I went through the correction, and this is like the training academy. This is like a, a training academy. Like, you feel as if you're, like, training to be an officer of the law or something you know in the in the CO in the correction officer training academy class you 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 learn to be around a lot of people that are going into the law enforcement they're going into the FBI they're going into CIA they're going into NSA they're going into government uh, security services like they're going into like you could even go through this class and eventually one day uh be in the secret service protecting the president that that's that's what this class was for so the security officer training it it, it it was good it was very fantastic it was hard we worked out every single day every morning we ran uh we we, we did our workout in the morning well well first you wake up you get ready in your dorm. There's about four people in your room. It's four people, including yourself, so it's four people. You, Everybody gets ready. Everybody gets up. They, they all have their own different trades, so I'm getting ready to dress up like a security officer. Like a, I mean, like a correction officer. And then the, the next person next to me, and my, and my roommate, he's dressing up to be a medical officer, so he's got his nursing outfit on. And then another person, he's got his... Um, machine machining because there's a machining class he's got his machining uniform on and the other person he's a uh, which what, what, um, uh, what's that called I can't think of the word I think it's um it's like a it's like a wood shop 
I, I'm not sure what it is, but he does wood. Like he he's a craftsman. He he builds a whole bunch of things with wood. And and then, you know it could be welding. They they put a whole bunch of different people with different trades, different backgrounds. They put you all in the room. So we all get up, we get ready, we clean the dorm, we clean our room. We have to make sure that it's to their standards because they go in there and they check the room. So we got to make sure the trash is out. We got to make sure everything's clean. We got to make sure everything's good. And then uh, we all head out of the dorm. We head to the cafeteria so we can go eat. And then whether or not they have like a town hall meeting or something, they have like a meeting there. So everybody, everybody in the whole campus all goes into the gym and they have a meeting with everybody. Or we just go straight to our trades. Whether you're doing your high school diploma or something, you can go do that. Uh, or because everybody has their different schedules. So I so I would go to my CO class, and there was there was the, we we're working out. So we're working out, and. Um, it, we're, we're, so it's tough. It's hard. It's it's it, it's really tough. Um. So. It 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 it, it it's tough. You, you know, it's not that tough to be honest with you. I could, I could stick through it and I can handle it. But, you know, there are days where the, the, the share for the teacher the. There's a word for it. The, the the these these guys are really professionals. They 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 work in prisons and they work in 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 office. They 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 they're very professional. So we would work. So uh, so there were days where they would push us and they would go hard. You know, they would really push us to our limits, and 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 it was tough. But um. It was tough. There was days where the workouts were really intense. You're carrying people on your back and you're running like at least a, a good bit, and then you switch places and you run back, and he's carrying you on your on his back. And it, it's tough. It, it was a real training course. So I decided that wasn't for me. I didn't really want to go into prisons. I didn't want to go into that type of high level of law enforcement. I mean, I could do it. Uh, it's just uh, I, it's just not for me right now. I don't think that's what I want to do. I don't want to do that. So right now, I don't think I'll, I'll be interested in doing anything like that. So what I did was is that they have a security class. So for security officers, that's what I did. I, I transferred over. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go to the security. I, I, I think I'd be good with the security level two, level three. I'll be good with that. So that it's about the same thing. But these, the security, they're more security, you know, level two, level three. Um, they also work with law enforcement, people that want to go into law enforcement. The CO class is more for like, like I said, NSA, FBI, CIA, that type of stuff, like um, security, secret service, like, and then the security is more like law enforcement, um, border patrol, um, stuff like that. So, so that's what I did. I, I did the security um, level two, and I got it. it. It took about six months, and I did it. And here's my security certificate for that. So I can be a security. It's 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 uh by the Texas Texas Public Safety Texas Texas Department of Public Safety. It's approved. It's a private security board. So yeah, I did that level two. I I didn't move on to level three. Um, I just didn't. I, I wanted to do that on my own personal time. Like I go to a private uh, level three office and do that. Um, but they would take people out to the shooting ranges and we would go shoot guns and do all that types of stuff for training and all that. And um, yeah, here's my diploma. I finally got the diploma, it's certified, it's accredited, um, yeah, so yeah, the Gary Job Corps community, I could, the, that, 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 that was in Texas, it was in San Marcos, Texas, uh, San Marcos, it was a, it was a, it's a good community, beautiful city, um, 
they have a whole bunch of things that you can do there too as well. To me, that was my college. I went there for about two years. That's my college. It's a type of college. It's not your community college or university college. It's a trade school college for people that don't want to go that route. They could go to a university or community college and do their degrees and do all that type of stuff. Or you can go to a trade school and get trades and work in the trade business. It's it's different. Um, most people would understand after me saying that. Like it, it, it's all over the place. So that's the route that I went. I went through the trade school route, um, and I did it. I got two trades, um, and I still want more to this day. Like uh, like I still want more. You know, I liked it because. It was a place where you could learn and you can grow and you can advance and you could just learn, 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 learn. You have a lot of free time by yourself. You can go to the gym. You can work out. There's a track. You can run. <clears throat> There's arts there. You can go to the art room. There's a gym. You can play basketball. There's a whole bunch of activities where, where people play sports, football, basketball, anything and everything. You name it. They got it. Um... And like I said, there's a whole bunch of trades there, but they only offer you two trades you can do. You can do maybe three, but it, you got to, I don't know, you you could do three, but you just, it's, it's tricky. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, let's see. So while I was there, I, I joined the boxing gym. I joined the boxing gym. They have a boxing program there. It's a beautiful program. Um, one day I went to go join and I was like, you know, I, I think I just want to join boxing. So that's what I did. I walked into the gym. I talked to the coach and he said, um, he was going to give me a chance. So he gave me a chance <laughs> and he gave me a chance. So one day that I went, we went to this training, boxing training, uh, gym camp, boxing gym that was located in Lockhart. And we went over there to go train. So we have a boxing gym there at the school, but they decided, the coach that was there running the program decided that he was gonna take us over there to the boxing gym in Lockhart, which is a few, few uh, maybe an hour or 30 minutes away. So we went and that's where I realized that I have family there. So the boxing gym that they took us to was owned by my, my aunt who is now my sister because she's my godmother now so she's technically she's tech, she's my she's my aunt but she's my sister in god terms because we uh they baptized me so so this gym that they that this boxing coach took us to it was owned by my family so it turns out that the boxing gym that they took us to was owned by my family and it was crazy. Like, I didn't, I never would have thought of that. Like, I knew they had a boxing gym in Lockhart. I just never knew that it would be the one that they would take us to. So, yeah, here it is. It's a uh, Arseniega Boxing. Uh, it got a little verse here. It's my favorite shirt. It's all torn up and everything. But I worked out with it. Um, it was good. They trained me how to box head to toe. I got it all up here. Any day, any second of the day, I can I can learn it again. It's always in my head, it's always in my head. I always remember everything that they taught me. So I'm considered like I can box, I know how to box. I'm not registered, um, but uh, I, I can, I'm a boxer, I know how to fight. So. So that that's that. They they taught me how to do that. My uncle, he's my he's my aunt's husband. He's the one that owns the boxing gym. He's tech. He's like in God's terms, he's my brother, because he's the one that baptized me. He's my pastor. He was my pastor. Um, we did it all private. Um, I got baptized. Um, I talked to the Lord, and that's when I get into religion. Uh, I converted to Christianity. That was back in 2017, I believe, 2016, 17. And we went to church. 
beautiful church, Christian church, a bunch of people. I remember going to that church when I was little, but I never thought I'd be back over there again at, at that age. And um, so, yeah, they we went out to eat. Uh, we went to church almost every single weekend. They picked me up and we would go to church from the school. They picked me up. I got in touch with them again because of the boxing. I, I ran into them there. They, the gym that they, they, they took us to was my family's gym. <laughs> so it's crazy because, like, I just didn't think any of that. So for years and years and years, this school has been going over there to my family's gym, and I, I just never knew until one day I decided to join boxing, and they took us, and I was like, oh, shoot, I'm here in my family's gym. So I... I work, I've been working out with them every weekend. Not now, but at that time, I was working out with them every weekend. I was going to church with them every weekend. They helped me out with clothes. They helped me out with, uh, we would go out to dinner to eat. I saw my cousin. Um, I, I, it was great. It, it was a beautiful place. Beautiful environment. I loved it. I loved the whole Christianity thing. It's good. It's with me. It's still with me to this day. Um, it it it's really good for your mind. It, I have a Bible with me all the time. Um, so it so so yeah. <laughs> um, I always think back. Like that's the thing with me too is that I sit back and I think you know like I get. I have visual pictures. I, I I always take myself in my thought, like back at those times, you know, like it, it's really good in times. I was on the move. I was out there. I was doing things, you know. Um. So that was that. I I eventually graduated from the school. I graduated from the program, and I stopped going to boxing because I was done. I was ready to go home. I was already got my trades. I got my high school diploma. I was done already. I was ready to go. So I left to, I left to, um, hold on a second. So I was uh, going through this program and I was done. I, I, I no longer was able to go through boxing program anymore. Uh, I had to move on. I had to move on. All, all good things must come to an end. But they really never did come to an end because it's always with me in my mind. Still with me. Still with me. Still have the shirt, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah. Any any time of the day, I, I can practice. I can learn. It, any, that's the thing with me, too, is that I learn. You can't teach me something because I will learn it. If you teach me something, you know, it's going to help me and I'm going to learn. So most of the time it's kind of dangerous because there's a lot of people that really don't want to teach you something because if you learn it, you're going to get better, you're going to get good at it, you're going to learn, you're going to know how to do it. So, you know, that's not for me to worry about, but that's a skill that I have. I'm like a sponge. I can learn anything and I can, I can definitely learn. So I learn, I learn, I learn, I learn. That's my thing. I learn. So, um... Let's see. So, yeah, that has to do with the gay job course community, my school, my education. Uh, I It was a fantastic college. It was beautiful. I, I lived there for about two years, and I, I was done, and I was done. I did it. So I could always go to college, but I actually did try to go to college, but I, I didn't like it. I came back. I, had, I was home over here where I live, South Texas, and um, I just didn't like it. Uh, the teachers, you know, they do things their own way, and I just didn't like it. You know, they talked to a lot of us as if we were still in high school, and I just didn't like it. And I was too lazy, or I didn't even think about changing my teacher. So, you know, I just had very bad experiences with my teachers. My my very my my experiences with college, my first few times, was so bad. It was horrible. I didn't have any friends. I didn't talk to anyone. Um, I, I was on my own. Um, uh, when I was in classes, everybody kind of already had their own little friends and groups, and I was just always on my own. So it, it just wasn't a good experience. I I could do it, 
it was accomplishable, but it just didn't work out because I just didn't fit in. I didn't, it just didn't work out. So I, I didn't do it. So I, I just kind of dropped out of college too. I, I, I just had a horrible experience that first time and I didn't want to go back. So I just didn't feel like that was the, the way for me. That wasn't the right way for me. You know, at the things that I want to do, they're not going to be able to happen wasting my time in college, I believe, five to six, seven years in college. I, it's just not going to work for me. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I know where I'm going, and it. I can't go to, like... I can't waste too much time in one place. Like, I, I have to be everywhere. You can't keep me in one place. And if I am in one place, I'm thinking, I'm plotting, I'm writing, I'm learning, self-learning. I'm, 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 I'm working on something always, always. So, 2000 and I would say maybe, oh yeah, so the reason of dropping out of high school is because I got into music. I I was a rap hip hop artist. I was in I want to say ninth grade in high school. No, well it started when I was in eighth grade. No, seventh grade. I was in seventh grade. I saw I, my family. We come from that hip hop rap. We listen to almost every single rap artist. I mean, since I was a baby, born my mother in her time nineties. They've been living in rap. I grew up listening to it. It was my music. Like, from every 90s rapper, artist, you can name it. They grew up... I grew up listening to it since I was a baby. Even my mom, from their time, they listened to it. It's been around my whole life. So, I was born in the 90s. 1996, November 22. Um, so, yeah, I'm a 90s baby. Uh, I was born through it. I lived through it. Um, 1996, I was born. And uh, so I want to say about seventh grade, that's when I started getting into rap. I started listening to it on my headphones. I started listening to it on, uh, I started listening to, I had an MP3 at all times. I always listening to music, rap, from Tupac to all that, all that, all of it. I was listening to it seventh grade, just all the time. That's when I really started listening to rap. As soon as I got my MP3 player or my phone or my iPod or my any device I was using, CD player. There was a moment where I had a CD player with a whole bunch of CDs. And I, I would be using my mom's CDs to put them in my CD player. But um, the rap, hip-hop, it, it's just a very, it's very, <laughs> it's very manipulative or it's very stuck to me. Like, it's been around my life, my whole life. I'm, it's like a bone to me. It's, 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 you can't get rid of it. You, at this point, I can't get rid of it. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop worrying about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I just can't. It, you can't do it. You can't. If I try to put it in a box, throw it away, it's going to haunt me forever. And I'll probably go down the wrong path. It stuck with me forever. So around 2000, I don't know the year, but I want to say around seventh grade. Um, I want to say maybe 2010, 11. I was rapping with my friends in school. I was just some kid. <laughs> like I, I started doing it, and then in eighth grade, I want to say that's when I started recording music. I started recording music in eighth grade. So this is around 2010, 2011. I started, I started recording music. I started, uh, I started doing it. Um, I had some songs. I have a whole bunch of songs, um, a whole bunch of songs, like hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I have a SoundCloud accounts. Almost, I have like one. I have, I have a whole bunch of different names that I had brought up with myself. It was a. Uh, Pop Setch, Cassius Clive, Jazz at the Rhymes, Tito Jenkins, um, John Mercy, Don Keel, um, um, Chris Knox, um, 
um, there's a whole bunch of names. I, and then there's a lot of accounts that I use. Uh, oh, Muhammad Abdallah. Um, there's a whole bunch of names that I use on SoundCloud. And each of those accounts, they have almost a bunch of songs on them, like a bunch. And then there's a lot of accounts that I use that didn't even have a name. So on SoundCloud, I have like a galore of music, like all over the place. It's not the best music, but there's a lot of music that's good. A lot of a lot of words that are written down, and I I wrapped onto a beat, and I recorded it. So it's all out there. It's all out there on SoundCloud. So I want to say around 2000. So I want to say around 2012. That's when I stopped messing with my friends and I started doing my own thing. And in those terms, like I stopped rapping with other people. I was rapping on my own. There was other people that I was rapping with, but I did my own thing. That's when I started really getting deep into it it's where it took me so it took me and i got it i did it I, it's with me i'm a professional i can i can make music like that like it's 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 good to me you know at these days to this day in the present it's very hard for me to it's very hard for me to just jump back in it you know because I've been conflicted about the workplaces, you know, working in Texas, it's, it's, you know, at the same time, I have this whole rap career, this whole rap hip hop thing on me, and it, it kind of eats you alive, like it, it takes over your soul, like, like it takes over everything, and, 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 you know, jumping back to work, dealing with personal problems at home, um, Dealing with personal problems out there with other people. Dealing with a whole bunch of things all over the place. Everything's coming at you from every type of different direction. You know, it's hard for you to just jump back into it. You know, I, I'm trying to jump back into it. I barely started making like a couple songs. A couple songs I barely started making. But there was a, like I said, personal problems. Personal, there's always something. There's always, always, always... And that's the thing in life that I learned. That there's always going to be something. Whether it's people, whether it's work, whether it's your family, whether it's money, whether it's something. It's always going to be something in your way. Always. Always. So, that's my thing. I have the potential to push myself to the maximum ability and be one of the greatest or be the greatest. Be someone. Do something. Make money, go out there and do it. But there's always this one thing that just comes at you in a direction and it just knocks you down. And that's me. I'm in this recurring cycle of my entire life just getting things thrown at him all the time. Like I, There's never a time where I have a break and I can actually just go through my plan and do it. There's always something, something, all the time. So... That's why I can't do that, unfortunately. Um, I'm at a point where I don't know what to do, really. I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. You know, I, I know that rap is what I want to do. Hip hop, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be on the radio someday, whether I'm alive or I'm dead. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Because I'm already out there. So whether I'm dead or alive, it's going to happen. I just uh, don't know when. And um, uh, I have, a, like I said, I have maybe about four journals that I'm writing right now. I'm writing journals. They cost about five cents at the store. I, I'm going to go buy some more right now, actually. Um, and I'm going to fill them up. I've already completed one journal let me get it real quick so yeah i have this journal right here um it's filled to the t this is one of the first uh composition books that i did i called it volume one um i filled it up 
front to back. It's filled. Just filled up. I always hold on to it and I like to show it off because it, it's just very, it's a lot of work that I put into it. It's not, it was actually pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could do a lot more. That's why I bought more composition books. Um, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm still in the process of doing it, but like I said, there's just a bunch of problems. It, it's like, to me, the best way I can explain this whole situation is, it's like playing a game. Like when you're a kid, you're playing a game. And you're you're playing the game and, and your mom calls like, hey, I need you to clean this. Or, and then that, that messes you up. You can't play the game no more. Cause like you gotta go do something. So it, it, then, or something happens like uh, the controller batteries die. You know, there's something that just affects you so you can't no longer play the game. And that's the situation with this. The whole rap thing. You know, anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. Anybody. Anybody. No matter whether it's boxing, rapping, singing, dancing, whatever you want to do. You can do that 100% to the maximum ability and be the best. You can be the greatest. You can change the world. But... There's always going to be something to stop you from doing that. And that's my situation. I, there's always a whole bunch of things stopping me. There's a whole bunch of things stopping me. A whole bunch of things. A lot. A lot of st stuff stopping me right now. And I, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know if this is ever going to happen. And I'm not going to give it up. I'm not going to let it go. You know, like I said, I got a whole bunch of music out there. The music that I'm recording right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. But like I said, when I die, it's gonna happen. And if I, if I'm alive, it's gonna happen. So it's, it, it's at a point for me that it's eternal. Dead or alive, it's, it's there forever. And that's just what I built myself up to do. That's what I built myself to be. I built myself to do something like that. So. I've already been making music for about 10, 12, 13, 2011, 12, 13, 2010, 11, 12, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's already been 12 years. 12 years that I've been making music. <laughs> 12 years that I've been making music. 12 years that I've had this dream. It's been 12 long years. I've hit my 10-year mark. Uh, that's 12 long years of making music. 12 long years of being in this whole rap mentality, lifestyle, superstar. You know, it, it, does, it doesn't stop there. There's a whole bunch of things that I want to do. A whole bunch of things that I want to accomplish. I, I'm not going to get into specifics about what I'm going to do. I have I, ha I have a 20-year plan. I have a 30-year plan. I can have a plan 50 years plus. Like, I have a plan, like... 20 years into the future of my life. You know, when I went to school, that was one thing that they taught us to do. They taught us to do that. They There was a moment where we were in class and they told us, hey, I want you to write a 20 year plan. I want you to write a plan for your life 20 years into the future. So they had us thinking and plotting and working on our futures while we were already there. So that's what we did, and that's what I was learn, learning to do, and that's what I was taught to do. So I have a plan, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years plus. You know, for me, my riches, they come from Jesus Christ. Um, with the power of Jesus Christ, I'm able to talk to God. I have the power of God, and I do have the power of God. It, it's it's It's... Uh, it's unexplainable. I, I can't. I can't explain that to anybody because it's 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 powerful. I, there's times I sit by myself and I look up to the sky and I. I I I'm with God. I I'm with God. I am peaceful. I I have, I feel His power, and it's powerful. It's very powerful. 
Um, it's very powerful. Um, so I, 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 like I said, I, what was I saying? Um, I, I, I work with, I have music. I, so that's the thing. I, I, I have a plan. I'm rich with life. I, I, my riches, it, and that's another thing that, that I can say too. There, there's a point where people can feel rich and they don't have a thing. They don't have money. They don't have cars. They don't have a house. They don't have food. They don't have anything. Anything that you need in this life, you really don't need it. Like you don't. You'll never feel hungry. You'll never feel like you need money. You know, I get money. You know, I have a job. I work. Um, I do work. You know, like I'm saying, I do work. I have like I have like I have a dream. I have things in my mind. Like there's things I want to do. But like I said, I do have a life as well. Like I have a job. So I uh, I don't come home and and I mean I do actually. I come home and watch movies or I play a game on my phone or something, or I I read the book. I read the good book or I write music or. I listen to music or I keep up on all the fellow rappers out there. Everybody's rapping, all the famous rappers, all the stars. I, you know, I keep up with them. I, I follow up on everything, you know. they I know them. They don't know me. Maybe one day they'll know me. I don't know. But um, I, I, I keep up with everything. Uh, I like to, to get educated. I like to educate myself and keep up with everything in the world that's going on, you know. To me, that's educating myself. I'm educating myself to be into that type of world. You know, there's people that educate themselves to get into politics. They educate themselves to get into science, scientific stuff. They get, educate themselves to get into religion. I educate myself to get into everything. Everything. I, I, I'm into everything. But I would say number one thing is rap, hip hop. I, that's what I want to do for now. And that's... Like I said, 20, 30 year plan. That's not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. That's not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I have a whole bunch of plans. I have a whole bunch of things that's going to grow. The stepping stone for me is making music. The stepping stone for me is making music. And when I make the music, that's the stepping stone. That's the first step of a huge, it's like the pyramid. Look at a pyramid. The first step you take on a pyramid, that's rap. And there's a whole bunch more steps. A whole bunch more steps that are right above that. So So that's that so that's that. Um I I really can't explain to anybody how much potential, how much power, how intelligent, how strong how smart I am when it comes to this field. Um, I'm very at my maximum potential. Uh, I'm in my prime right now. I'm in my prime. <laughs> I'm in my prime right now. So, I'm, I'm as days are getting by and I'm getting older. It, it, that's that's another thing that comes at me too. Remember when I was talking about how things come at you. They hit you and they, they sidetrack you from different directions. That's one of those things. Age is one of those things, too. Age is getting to me. I'm 24 years old. Um, I still haven't had any luck. Uh, I'm still out here. Um, it's, it's, I'm getting older. And um, that's really getting to me, too. Because I'm 24 years old and I... I, I feel like I've done a lot, but in reality, I haven't done anything to anybody else. You know, I'm, I'm still going through trials and tribulations, or is that what it's called? I'm not sure. I'm still going through things. And um, um, the main thing that I really do this for, I'm trying to do this so that there's understanding, you know. Uh, I, my situation is unique. It, 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 
it, it's unique. It, it's not like everybody else. I mean, there are people that are in my situation, maybe even worse, but my situation is different. Like, there's a lot of things that, that I really can't talk about. And I, I, I choose not to talk about them. Because it, it's, it's, there's just no point in talking about it. And that may be the death of me. That may be my problem. That may be the reason why I, I'm stuck. But it, um, I hope and pray every single day. And I just keep moving forward. But 24... Yeah, um, it's pressure's on now. I would say the pressure's on. Um, 24 years old, you know, Tupac, he died when he was 25. And that's kind of like my inspiration. Like, like, I think going at 25 would probably be, be good too. But, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, you know, 25, all that he had done and accomplished. And, and then I look at myself, and I'm 24, and, and I look at all that I've accomplished. And, you know, it, it was always really just a mind thing. All that I've accomplished... I've accomplished with my mind. I've accomplished everything with my mind. Everything is accomplished with my mind. So all the things that I think that I've been doing and accomplishing and all the things that I've done, it's all in my mind. I've accomplished it from my mind. So that's 12, 12 long years of working on my mind. I've worked on my mind for 12 years. So these 12 years that I, I'm in the position that I'm, at, I'm in, but that's 12 years of knowledge that, that's 12 years of knowledge that nobody has because they were always focused on work or whatever the case they were focused on. I've put 12 years into music. I've lost jobs. I've lost my family. I've lost money, I've lost relationships, I've lost school, I've lost opportunities. I lost everything and I gave it all up for music. I give it all up for music and, and, and it takes sacrifices and I'm still here in this spot but I guess I kind of just want to get out already, you know, like I'm done already. <laughs> I think I've already learned and accomplished everything. Like there's really no other way I can explain it but I've accomplished 12 long years of of building myself up. I've worked on myself. It's like you're working on yourself like a house. It's like a house or something like it's like something that you're building. Like a tree. A real tree. It's like there's I can't really explain it but there's a way for someone to work on themselves for a long time. Until, you know, they just are done. And that's what brings me here today. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of here. Because I've already been working on this for 12 long years. I've been working on my mind for 12 long years. And I've been creating a superstar. Uh, a rap module hip-hop artist. That's what I created. I did that. There's so much that goes on beyond to infinity of things that can be done 20, 30 years plus. But for 12 long years, I've, I've worked on myself. <laughs> I've created myself. I built myself. I worked on myself. I wrote down things. I learned things. I've experienced things. I, that's what I did. You know, a lot of people put their energy towards other things, whether they put it to their relationships, they put it to their jobs, they put it to their families, they put it to their their school, they put it, the, what I did is I put it to music. I'm creating a person that's going to be able to be a rapper, and I'm not going to explain the whole plan, because that's, that's God's plan.
God's plan that I got, that's between me and him. I'm not going to explain anything else other than that. I'm actually going to just do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. God's plan that I got with me 20, 30 years into the future, that's what I'm going to do. But all I can say as a little tip or a little teaser is that that's that's um, the stepping stone. It's all going to start with making music. Um, when I make music, that's what's going to start everything. It's going to open so many doors. It's going to just, the world's going to change. <laughs> the world is going to change. Um, the world's going to change. Um, that's the stepping stone. Um, that, 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 that's the first thing I need to do. So, that's, that's the plan. Um, I'm going to make music and I'm done already. I'm, I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to start. Uh, I'm ready to go on this journey and, 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 and hopefully, hopefully, you know, I I do everything that I said I was gonna do. Um, I do have a lot of plans. I have a lot of future things to do. I'm gonna work with a lot of people that I haven't even met yet. Um, like I said, it's not opportunity for me either. It's opportunity for a lot of other people as well. Cause when someone works on themselves like this for 12 long years, um, and that leads me to being the way that I am as well with every single thing about me. Like when it comes to working with people or my job, when I get back into the workplace, when I make money, when I get back into relationships, whenever I work with my family, whenever whenever I, I, I do anything, it's different because it's been 12 long years of me building myself. I've built myself. I've built something. I've created something. Um, it's like constructing yourself. I've constructed myself. Like I've built myself. Like I can't explain it. Like think about it as if I'm like a house. Or I'm like something that you can build. I built myself. I, I, I built it. Everything about me, I built it. I did it all by myself. I'm self-made. Um, the... The name that I started with was Real Life. I started it. I created that. I I started Real Life. I, I took inspiration from Thug Life. There's no acronym behind it. it. There's no acronym behind Real Life. Not yet at the moment. But it was inspiration. You know, Tupac had Thug Life. So I decided I was going to come out with Real Life. Especially since my last name is Villa Real. Real real life so that's what I'm gonna rock with that's what I'm gonna do um, real life I started that so anybody out there saying that I it, it was me that started it I, I, I started that and it's crazy because I people still don't know me but whatever I, I'm I'm out I'm done I'm ready and and I mean if you can if you think hard enough you can see the future. Um, right now, uh, I feel like like that's that's what I want to do. I'm not gonna. I don't got any tattoos. I mean, I, th I think I got like one tattoo right here. It's an A for my baby girl. I have a little girl, but that's another story. <laughs> um, so yeah. My name is Adrian Villarreal, Adrian Villarreal. I go by a whole bunch of names. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, real life. Let's get it, baby. Let's do this. Um, yeah. Peace.